of husband and wife. For as many as you can, you have 300 points each. Halimbawa, for the husband, for the wife, okay? For two minutes, go.
Ang baby sharks! Marami to, sharks! Dami, oh. Oo, number one. Wives, submit yourselves to, unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For Christ is the head of the church, so is... So is the husband to his wife. And he is the savior of the body. Pangatlo daw, pangatlo po. For the church is the... Okay, ito pa pang star. Husband, love your wives as how Christ loved and gave himself by sanctifying and cleansing with the washing of water by the word. Ito pa pang star. Husband, love your wives and as how your, you love your body. No man hate at his flesh, but no less at the chest. Ito pa po, Pastor. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Ito pa po, Pastor. For, for this cause shall a man leave, leave his father. Ito pa po, Pastor. This is a great mystery. But I speak pertaining to Christ and the church. <laughs> Nevertheless, husband love his wife as himself. And wives give reverence your husband. church and the savior of the body husband must love their wives as their own body oh, as Christ oh. no man not woman but man he is his own flesh but cherish and nourish so, and chuck, nourish it and uh, we are members of the wife to the wife. Ayan. Meron kang gusto sabihin sa akin. Ala. Wife is baptist to the husband. Either subject. Wife is subject to the husband. As the church is subject to Christ. That's it. Salam. Salam. Pero po ba? Kasi puro anak. Tatlo. Times three. Kaya po. We are members of his body, flesh, and bones. Analogy. Una, una, una. Kape. Na yung una. Head, head of his wife. The husband is the head of his wife. One, love wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself. Two, love wives as their own bodies. Three, love wives as to nourish and cherish them. Four, love wives as self. Wives, submit to the husbands as the Lord. Two, be subject to your husbands in everything. Three, reverence or respect to your husbands. Oh, tatandaan niya yan. 
Ano nung ginagawa niyo sa husband niyo? with 
the Ephesian church. Name some people associated with the Ephesian church. Go. Eutychus. Tychicus. Oh, 
ito po yung sagot ng mga kapot. <laughs> yung sabi ko man at nagulang nilutungan po lang po nila yung mga children of <laughs> your parents in the Lord one honor thy father and mother two um, by servants <laughs> be obedient to your masters uh, members ah sorry masters Forbear <laughs> Fathers Provoke not your children to wrath Bring them up in the admonition Nurture and admonition in the Lord Five 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 Thanks, 200. Thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Children, obey your parents for obey your parents for the Lord. For this is right. Honor thy father and mother. Fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. But, uh, uh, children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Servants, be obedient to them that that you are masters. That your masters according to the flesh singleness of heart, fear, and trembling. Masters, ma, do the same. Do the same for bearing and threatening. Okay, ito. Times 200. 1,400. Okay? Okay. Let me Children, Obey and honor your father and mother. Okay. 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 Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Honor thy father and mother. Hello. <laughs> Children, obey and honor your father and mother. Servants, obey, obey with fear and trembling, with singleness of heart, with service to Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. Nurture and admonition. Six. 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 In the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Masters, do the same with servants. Okay. For bearing threatening. Okay. Servants, fear and trembling. <coughs> be not a service or men pleaser, but be a servant of God. Okay. Six. Times two hundred. Twelve hundred. Go! Okay. Ito, ito 200 din. Madali lang to. Bogus na to eh. Enumerate. Or, siguro, kaya mababa-haba. One and a half minutes. Enumerate. The whole. 
I'm a guy. Go. 200 each.
in the evil day and having done all to stand to be strong in the Lord. That's just one. Five hundred. Open the shard. Five hundred luck. To stand against the wiles of the devil. Which stand in the evil day. One thousand. And then again, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Second, so that we may be able to withstand. I want it up. Next. Manok. To be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Withstand in the evil day. Okay. And okay.
What was the name of the Ephesian church? What was the name of the Ephesian church?
Kadang daan na sa akin. Anong daan? Ay daan. Daan. Another 5,000. So, basta, meron silang, uh, ano kanina, uh, clarification kanina, yung tanong. Yung before that way. Meron silang sagot na, proclaim the mystery of the gospel. Hindi daw po ba? Instead of make no problem, they were known to be that way. No, no. Ito. Ano na tayo mo, sir? Step back tayo ng isang tanong ba? Yung bago yung ano, bago yung tanong niya ngayon. Meron silang ano eh, nahuli yung objection. Instead, kasi yung sagot nila, anong tanong ito? Watch for prayer and supplication for all saints. Yeah, yeah. Ay yung ano, yung, yung supplication ni Paul, kasama po dito, to proclaim the mystery of the gospel. No? That's It's already that sharp with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Shoes. That's already in there. Ano ba ito? Hindi, kasama na ito. Kasama na ito. Yung request ni Paul, di ba? May, may request si Paul, may prayer request si Paul. Tatlo ang request ni Paul. Number one, oh, number one, that Alkirans may be given to him. Number two, that he may speak boldly. Tama? That he may, I mean, open his mouth boldly. Number three, okay, that he would speak boldly as an ambassador in bonds. Di ba? IBA, IBA. Kasi ang susi doon, he is an ambassador na nakakulong. But nevertheless, kahit nakakulong siya or persecuted siya, he would speak openly. Iba yun sa open is mouth boldly because that's open. Okay? Yes. IBA naman. IBA. 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 Oh, 5,000 points. Ah, last two. Last two. Questions? Woo! Last two. Ah? Gusto pa isa? Last two lang. Gusto lang yung last two. Gusto lang yung last two. Gusto lang yung last two. Gusto lang yung last three. Gusto niya 10,000 points? Yeah! Pati bato! Pati bato! Ah. Ito yung libo. Gusto niya 5,000 lang? Ha? 10,000? 3,000 lang? Gusto niya 3,000 lang? 10,000 lang. 3,000 points. 10,000 lang sa likod. Ha? 3,000 points. Tayo po pa tayo. Alam mo kasi ang Ephesus. Wala na sa lista ako. Ang Ephesus, no, ay lumalabas na napakasilitikan in that yan ang pinakamatagal ng church na nag-exist hanggang Revelation as cited okay, from the time of Paul and obviously the people love the work of God okay, obviously the people love the work of God and they were so given to the work of God kaya nga yung the book of Revelation so nalaba sila ng Panginoon na mag-site kayo ng very, very significant doctrine that prompted the members, both the members and leaders of the Ephesian Church to just love the Word of God. Mag-site kayo ng kahit ano pwede nyo i-site na nag-i-exist sa lahat ng kwento o reference sa Ephesian Church. Ang kinakailangan, buhos na buhos sila sa damayan ng Panginoon. Kaya nangyari yun. Na hanggang dulo na, hanggang mamatay na si John, nandun pa din ang Ephesian Church. Ang Ephesian Church. Ang Ephesian Church. What is it? What is it? Na tinuro sa kanilang report that really prompted them to be so given to the work of God. For 3,000 points, 
One minute. Wow. by grace. We are his workmanship. Oh baby sure. Number one, doctrine of repentance. Number two, doctrine of thanksgiving. Number three, doctrine of the second coming. Number four, Doctrine that the church is the body of Christ. Gusto ko tumawa, pero... Magpigilan ko lang yan. Ang ganyan ba? That those who love God in sincerity would have His grace. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 24. Manok na pula. Doctrine of how the Lord loved the church as His bride. Yes. What is it that Paul taught the Ephesian church? Very significantly that prompted them to be so given to the word of God. To the ecclesia. Oops. What is it that Paul taught them that prompted them to be so given to the word of God? Yes, ma'am. Not the book when you submit it. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm not going to say that. That's why they hated the deeds of the Nicolaitans which means they do not recognize and they separate themselves from humans. Ang cross-reference po namin yun. Nasa Acts chapter 20 po, verse 35 po. So, ang Ano po, so yung niremind niya po ulit yung Ephesian leaders na niremind niya yung words ng Panginoon actually how he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. Nice. Yeah. Walang pasunin niya. Ano naman? Yes. Walang talang. Doctrine of the body of Christ is found in Ephesians 4.12. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the men, and for the edifying of the body of Christ. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Dahil po namin yung answers. Yung isa po from Ephesians 1.18. Uh, Paul taught them what is the hope of their calling and the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Tapos, kasama din po doon from uh, Acts 20.35, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Ano pa guys? <laughs> uh, Acts 20.35, uh, 
Acts 20, 28. Um, take heed therefore unto yourselves to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God which he had purchased with his own blood. So, and the last one, Bob, that he might, uh, at the end, uh, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but it should be holy and without blemish. And this doctrine, as a Yung sa Acts 19 po. Um, um, when Paul passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and then um, sinasabi ko dito na he find certain disciples, and then um, and then he came to the upper coast, and then um, ito mga disciples who were baptized, and then um, nanampalataya po sila sa Panginoon si Christo, and then um, Nagpuyo ko niyo si Paul at nakita niya po, nagturo po siya ng um, in the space of three months, disputing and persuading me, so nagturo po siya ng doctrine concerning the kingdom of God. But when divers were hardened and believed not, but stayed evil of that, of that way, before the whole church, he departed from them and separated the disciples. Now, this comes very, very unique. Sa naging ministry ni Paul sa Ephesus. So that you only can find this declaration between Paul and the Ephesian church. Na ngayon, ilang lighthouse. Okay? Simula pa ng panahon din natin. Tayo lang ang nagpapahal na dito. Kaya ganun na lang ka-attach tayo sa gawain ng Paul. Kaya, ganito yung may ito. Sa pagkat ito ay dineclare lang ni Paul mismo sa Ephesian Church. The first is found in the book of Acts. Ang sabi ni Paul sa mga elders sa Acts 20, nahagingin niya na, pero hindi. Okay, isa lang yung hindi, isa lang yung binibigay niya. I mean, you see the Church of God because it is something that He purchased with His own blood. The involvement of the Lord, no, in particular, the Church nila. Ganun kahalaga ang Church sa Panginoon. Secondly, in Ephesians chapter 5, the ones of verse 25. Ang sabi niya, husbands, love your wives. Love your wives, I think. Pero ang pinag-uusapan talaga doon ito is what Christ is to His church. Love your wives, even as Christ loved the church. Look at this. And gave Himself for it. Purchased by his own money, gave himself for the church. That is not a church universal. That is a church as they were, said Ephesus. Kaya naging kano na attachment nila. They valued their church so much, even more than their own selves. The way Paul ministered to them, he ministered to them in tears. Salahan. And the way Paul ministered to them, sabi ni Paul, I don't, I don't mind what I would go through. These things do not mean. I do not count my life dear to myself that I might finish this course. And this course is to teach you this mystery which goes beyond yourselves. There is an institution and there is a body that the Lord Jesus Christ gave himself for it. 
Kaya pag sinasabi natin sa ating church, hindi binigay ng Panginoon ang kanyang sarili, ang kanyang dugo sa institution ng pamilya. Totoo yan. Hindi binigay ng Panginoon ang kanyang sarili sa institution ng government. No? It is only sa institution ng ecclesia to which the Lord Jesus Christ gave Himself sacrificially. Oh yes, the Lord gave Himself for everyone. But He also gave Himself for an institution. Kaya kayo na lang ang attachment nila sa church. Now you understand? Yes. yes, the church is the body of Christ, but who lang kasi, well, the church is the body of Christ, you sense that he gave himself for this body. You have to go to the So, wala na kakuha. Muntik pa kayo. Pero hindi na ako na. It's all or nothing. <laughs> ano gusto ko palinig? No. That the Lord gave Himself for the church. How can you not give yourselves to it? Diba? You understand? Okay. Last. Last. Oh, baby, 
Richard. Thank you, Gus Paul, Timothy, Priscilla, Angela, all us faithful brethren and them that love the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's time for us to answer the question. Fathers, somebody is going to be shot and answer the question. Nama mas tak? Nama? Tajikos, Paul, Timothy, Priscilla, Aquila, Apollos, faithful brethren. Ada apa? Ada sekitar 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 Sangat tak? 